Okay guys, this is gonna be a quick video. It's gonna be half news, half ranting. Why would Xiaomi create a gaming smartphone with a liquid cooling system and no headphone jack? All right, let's go through the specs really quickly. This is a Snapdragon 845 processor, six inch 1080p IPS LCD display. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 to 128 gigabytes of ROM, Android 8.0 Oreo, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and a 12 megapixel, 20 megapixel camera. So let's start with the build quality here. This phone looks fugly. The back of the phone is kind of hideous. Those weird X's and you know everything jumbled together looks kind of like an alien monster. So yeah, comment down below if you think it looks ugly as well. And if you don't, comment down below and let me know that I'm wrong as well. And also, what's up with the S? Is it like S for shark? I would guess they would use a B for black shark instead of shark. So that's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. It's just a letter. It's green though, so it does look like a razor phone. But I digress. The important thing here is how big the phone is. In terms of dimensions, it's about 75 millimeters wide, which is actually not bad. My Smartest Not Pro 2 is about 73 millimeters wide, so not bad at all. In terms of height, it's actually fairly tall. It's 160 millimeters. Now, that is very, very tall. That's like taller than like the Mi Max 2, which is like 158 um, millimeters tall. And that's a 6.4 inch phablet, 6.4 inch 16 by nine. So don't forget that. And it's also 9.3 millimeters thick, which is actually not too bad either. In terms of weight, it's about 191 grams. That's actually not too heavy for a gaming phone, especially when you figure out the components inside, but no headphone jack, of course. So yeah, quick spiel about the headphone jack. I don't really use headphone jacks anymore. Like on this phone, there really isn't any headphone jack. I don't use it. Um, I have everything with Bluetooth nowadays. So I'm not a headphone jack guy, but I completely understand why people need headphone jacks. And this is a gaming phone. And I would assume that a headphone jack is kind of a prerequisite for a gaming phone because then it can plug in your headphones. Not, every, not everybody has Bluetooth headphones to plug in into a phone like that. So I really don't know what they're thinking. You know, they put in this crazy liquid cooling system, which I'll talk about later, but no headphone jack. But hey, these guys are getting paid a million dollars a year, so they're probably correct. So the last thing about the build quality here is you can fit one controller onto the side of the phone, but you cannot fit two controllers. So I'm kind of wondering what the decision was there because I would assume you need two controllers to you know control the phone properly but here they've only included one which is kind of a bit weird because then your other finger is still touch screen and that's not the best way to play games all right moving on to the screen it's a 1080p screen with a DCP 97.8% um, I think something like that so it's pretty good um, they didn't go 2K, which I think is the right decision, or you know, 2K 2560 by 1440. Um, I think that's the right decision because that would just impact your frame rate and it really doesn't look that much greater, especially on a six inch 18 by nine display as well. And the other thing is that it's not 120 Hertz like the Razer phone. So that is also a decision that I think is right because then you can maintain better frame rates. You know, 60 FPS is one good enough for the vast amount of people. All right, let's talk about battery life. It's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, um, but the, SOC is a Snapdragon 845 and you're gaming on this phone. So I really think they should have put in a bigger battery, let's say 5,000 milliamp hours or even 6,000. That would probably increase the size and thickness of the phone. But I really think that would be the right decision to do because 4,000 seems a little anemic for me if you're using this phone for gaming. So let's talk about software and performance. This is going to come with MIUI most likely. There really isn't any information on that yet. In terms of performance, you have a Snapdragon 845, so literally anything is gonna be okay on this phone. You can game on the highest settings, you can swipe super fast, you can open apps as fast as you want, you can multitask because you have eight gigabytes of RAM as well. And this thing probably will never overheat too much because you do have a liquid cooling system for that SOC. And the other thing to mention is that this comes with 64 to 120 gigabytes of storage. And for a gaming phone, I really think they shouldn't offer the 64 gigabyte model at all because 64 gigabytes is really not enough to install a lot of games on the phone, right? You have stuff like um, Asphalt or Modern Combat, which take up like two, three gigs each. And then you have all your videos and movies, stuff like that. I really think they should have the 128 and then 256 gigabyte version, but then RAM is expensive. And I'll actually talk about that more in another video. And the reason why I say that is because you cannot actually use an SD card in this phone, which is really annoying. So you really have no option to increase the uh, storage on this unless you buy the phone with the you know, bigger storage capacity. In terms of price, this is actually not too expensive. It's about 477 US dollars or 3000 RMB in China. And that's actually a very good price for the specifications you're getting. 
I personally won't be getting one because I don't really play many intense games on my phone at all. I use it more as social media, you know, Reddit, reading some news and reading some manga as well. Not a gaming guy, but if you are a gaming person, this is a very, very promising option. I mean, you have the Razer phone and that's about it. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below about the lack of the headphone jack and about the liquid cooling in the smartphone as well. And be sure to hit like and subscribe if you love headphone jacks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.